And let me start recording. Yes, you see, it says recording in progress. So <clears throat> now we've got the recording going. We have all this stuff happening. And uh, what we got to get now is uh, some of the people here who want to be part of this little Monday get together that we have. Hello, people. How are you? Are you there? Can you hear me? Hello. Oh, there, we can hear Lynn LaFrisco. Nobody says hi back. <laughs> hi. Uh, uh, hi. What mask is that? It's the president. The, the, that's, <laughs> oh, that's Biden. Yeah. See, that's a very bad mask. Yeah, they did the best they could. Mm. Is a guy they should have put aviator glasses on him. Yeah, yeah. You know, then you would have known who that is. That's right. Um, let me see here. Let me admit some more people here coming in. Rick Sheckman, Marjorie Miller. Uh let's see here. Uh, uh, that would be Vernon Nunn, not Ann Nunn. And uh yeah, here comes Marjorie eventually. Hey. Eventually, yeah. Eventually. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Well, here we go. We're, we're, I think, going, and let me, oh, let me do this. I was a little late in getting myself going here because I had a few problems and things like that that I had to solve here. I <laughs> uh, pushed the wrong button, you know, things like that. Because I, I, I took my nice pill last night. I took my pill for my neuropathy because my feet were starting to hurt too much. And now, now it's like I can't do anything that I logically have to do. So I was on a little, a few seconds late. To me, if it's 30 seconds, I'm not on time. You know, that's not, that's what radio is all about. I don't think anybody knows how to get on on time anymore. Anyway, hello, Shecky. Hello, Ben. You look a little like you're cold. No. Oh, uh, you look like you're bundled up there. Hi, I'm just wearing a sweater. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I don't, I'm not complaining. You know, I just, uh, you look, uh, you just looked a little, you look like you were, uh, I don't know, coming to the new world <laughs> and uh, on a boat from Europe for there for a second. Anyway. Uh, wow. I I don't know what to talk about. Looks like Joe Biden uh, made the, the ramp of the uh, meeting today. You made what? It looks like somebody's wearing a Joe Biden mask. Yes, right. Yeah. I'm giving everyone here ten percent. Marjorie's turn your phone down, Marjorie. My phone. Oh, so I thought your phone was making noise or something. No, no, no. Paul is having trouble to get on, so I'm telling her to go to your gabnet thing. Go to the Gabnet. Anytime you don't have you have a problem getting on, just go to the Gabnet page and click where it says Zoom, and it'll take you there. Uh, <clears throat> made sure that the the uh, the thing was right today. Did you got any of you people use the uh, Facebook link? Yeah. yeah, it worked. Okay. I do. All right. So that I don't know why she's having a problem, but she's having problems with her connection. She said. I see. Okay. So I'm a little loopy because I took my pill last night and the night before because my feet were starting to hurt me. And isn't that amazing? Well, all life turns into when you're 82 is my feet are hurting. Right, Charlie? You know that one. Yeah. And other ailments. Or your back's hurting. Or your or back, back hurting. Or my knee. Or this or that. Whenever the weather gets cold. I things start aching with me. And you know, when I was when I was younger, I wonder why old people were so grouchy. <laughs> you know? And now I know why they were grouchy. They were hurting all the time. <laughs> you know. When I was a boy, yeah, okay, shut up, Pops. You know. <laughs> yeah, but I but I'm beginning to realize what it was all about now. It's you know, it's a, a pretty uh pr it's not easy. It's not easy, but anyway. Not uh, fun. What? Not fun. It's not fun. And how many, let's see, you went to get your a shot today. I went to get an allergy shot. Oh. Yeah. Get closer to your microphone. You're a little low. Me? Yeah. All right. Let me turn the volume up. Yeah. Turn the volume up. Is it better now? No, I, that doesn't help it. I don't know where you turn up the volume on uh 
Oh, I, I, I don't want to go through it. It's just too much work right now. I'll do it. Can you hear me now? No, no, it's very low. Go up to go up in the corner. Do you notice that little green kind of shield? Yeah. yeah. Hit that. Click that. And yeah. Then I think it allows you to open the settings. Meeting set settings. Yep. And now what? And then uh, go down to where it says audio. See? Nothing that says audio. There should be something that says audio. It's in, there's a video. An audio? No. Oh, really? Yeah. This show is turning into, let's get people logged in. and Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it is the first five think, minutes. No, it says, it, it, says, oh, it says audio. I have audio here. I have audio on mine too. Yeah. Uh, I, and who's using an iPad? Anybody? Well, Shecky, mm -hmm. just, you don't know if the, what, Charlene? Yeah, I'm using an iPad. Yeah. And and can you see an audio listed? Oh, I, I, don't, know. I don't know. I don't want <laughs> to do it because I'll ruin it. I won't be able to know. Forget it. 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 Her, her, her microphone's off. too low, but she has nothing to say anyway. So, oh. you know. <laughs> I would, in fact, with her, I wish actually I had a little switch where I could turn her volume down. Yeah. How rude. Digging deeper, digging deeper. And you know what? I'm telling you something. When people get older, we should, we should call the show What Happens When You Get Older. <laughs> when people get older, nobody wants to talk to old people. Well, nobody wants to hear from old people. No, that's why nobody listens to this or any of my other shows. Oh, he's just an old guy. But anyway, so uh, what was I going to say? Now I forgot. See? Oh, no oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you get a whole bunch of excuses you can use for your behavior. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me give you a little example here. Two of them that Marjorie uses. Well, my hearing's kind of going. That's one excuse. Why? Why didn't you just? Did you hear what I just said? What? What did you say? I my hearing's going. That's one. <laughs> and the other is. We were watching this TV show yesterday, and she goes, well, you know, I have memory issues. Oh, I do. Huh? I do. Yeah. Do you Every remember me? she wakes up with a new guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So anyway, they, those are the two. The, those are the excuses I get from her. Memory issues. I'm, we watched this new show on. Uh, oh, you have your hand up, Charlene. Did you, you oh, I was just going to say I have hearing aids and I still have hearing issues. See, <laughs> see, um, I haven't got. I never had to get to that point where I needed hearing aids. And you would have thought that after all those years of wearing earphones right. and having the sound blast in my ears, although I never turn my earphones way up, you know. And, but I've never had any real hearing. Do I? I do I, I don't have any hearing issues. Do I, Marjorie? I don't. Oh. Have... <laughs> no, but I mean, you know, uh, it's, it's 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 it it ain't fun. It ain't fun. And then Shecky, Shecky's younger than I am, and he he's been going through stuff, you know. So how you feeling, Shecky? Good, okay. I feel great. You feel great? That's not just good. That's mm -hmm. great. You know. Yeah, I'm Tony the Tiger. I feel great. <laughs> great. Yeah. Um. Uh. So. Uh. By the way, uh, I mean, I, we don't talk about politics that much, but. Uh, you know, Donald Trump really wastes the Supreme Court's time. Hmm. You know, every time he's 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 like a crying little baby. Uh, I like, I hey, whoa, 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 they're beating me up. I want the Supreme Court to like rule on this. You know, ridiculous. Now they want to. He went to court today. He wants him to rule on the fact that the uh, 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 January 6th committee shouldn't get his income tax returns. No, I Wasn't don't know. Was there only those five years ago? I must have missed that. Uh, it's still being audited. 
Right. And, but here, here's the question. Are income tax returns that private? Don't they really? The government has them on record. Yep. You know, they're not private. Sure. You know, but uh, and and what is in his taxes? He doesn't want anybody to see. Yep. You know, so. mm -hmm. The fact, the fact that he doesn't make any money. <laughs> but the fact, <laughs> yes, well, that's what he doesn't want people to know is that he's he's not a gajillionaire. Uh, but uh, uh, but that that was a big story today, and I'm just sitting there going. God, why is he wasting the Supreme Court's time? You know that this because Supreme he hired Court, them all. Huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, hired well, them he, all. He, he wants to go there because he, yeah. By the way, uh, we uh, we have uh, Paula finally got in. You were having trouble getting in, right, Paula? No, she can't. She hasn't got her audio. Oh, she's still yeah. connecting. No. Yeah, she's still connecting her audio. Looks like she's on her iPhone. Yeah. Do, uh, do you have a? Uh, do you? Uh, oh, can you hear us now, Paula? I can. Oh, good. It, it took a while. I'm. I have to hold my phone up. I don't know what's happening with my my computer, but nah. Yeah, I was just, able to... If you have some books or something, just rest it against the books or something. Like that. Turn All turn right. your turn your phone sideways. See, watch <laughs> watch this, folks. Oh well, <laughs> it doesn't. Even, no, turn it back. Turn it back. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for that. <laughs> well, so, no, sometimes I don't know. People's phones are, are locked. Yeah, there's a setting. Huh? Yeah. There is a setting. I don't want to get into that. We're not, you know, I, I'm. I don't want to be IT support. It's the fix it shop. The fix it shop. Yeah. Yes, Alex is a fix it shop. Um. And you used yeah. to host a technology show, so there you go. It's the same. Yeah. Thing. I well, I didn't host it. I was a. I was a reporter. Um, ah. Yeah. I did these little pieces. That's what I won my Emmy for. That's right. Yeah, yeah. The other one was for, the other one was for sports. Go have a laugh, man. <laughs> oh, I think I'm going to sneeze too. Hmm. For some reason, the weather has not been. <laughs> oh boy! Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. boy! Talk amongst oh, yourselves. You know, yeah. when I start sneezing, do you, uh, is this unusual or are you all like this? When I start sneezing, there are exactly five sneezes before <laughs> I stop sneezing. Every time it's five sneezes before I stop sneezing. Anybody have that same thing? I'm not that nope. pretty. No. No, really? How about you, Vernon? You? Four. Four, Four times. Four. Why is mine five? It's because I reject. You're just lucky. No, I, 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 I have a bad sneeze because I sneeze like I don't want to sneeze. So it's a reluctant. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, and it always bothers me if I had a cold, I wouldn't mind sneezing. But I don't have a cold. Why am I sneezing? So, anyway, where were we? I can't remember. <laughs> You're talking about ailments, I think. You know what I need for this show now is a secretary at arms. <laughs> uh, somebody yeah. to sit there and write down everything we're talking about so that when I finally get into one of the brain farts, I can say, what was I talking about? Read that back to me. <laughs> anyway. So that was the one big news was uh, Donald Trump is wasting the Supreme Court's time once again. He, uh, you know, and... Um, where does he find the lawyers? Man, nobody wants to work for him because he doesn't pay them. Yeah, so I don't understand that. Well, not, in California, not, only, not only is that guy uh, being charged with attempted homicide of Paul Pelosi, but the feds have uh, tr filed charges of attempted kidnapping. Oh, really? Oh, well, yeah. because he had all those little things, those uh, zip ties. Zip ties. Zip ties yeah. Wow. He was going to... Kidnap Pelosi, Nancy, if, if she had been there. Well, uh, no, but she wasn't there. So yeah. when she said, where's Nancy? And he said, he's not here. She He should have left. No, I think if Nancy had been there, he'd be dead back now because the Secret Service would have, exactly. or the right. Capitol Police would have shot his ass. Here's the problem with all these political people. They get Secret Service coverage. Like Pelosi has, like, I think I saw she had 
five of them around her or something. She's number, she's number three to the presidency. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But she has those those people, those Secret Service people, but she doesn't have one at her home to protect her husband. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think it's Capitol Police officers, but they're trained by the Secret Service. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But you know what I don't understand is why their house wasn't wired. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, really, he broke through a, a glass door. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We haven't heard that it wasn't. It might have had an alarm on it, and that's what woke him up. Now, I think it did have an alarm, by the way. And I think that's one of the things that alerted uh, the police. No, what back. alerted the police was when he went in the bathroom right. and that 911. Yep. How do you, somebody <clears throat> is holding you hostage. He He's went waiting to for your wife to show up and you go into the bathroom and can make a he phone asked call? Yes, he could go to the bathroom and his phone was charging there. Mm. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> This guy was a moron on top of everything else. Yeah. That's where I charge my phone. What? Is that where you charge your phone? <laughs> no. Oh. Well, I keep one beside my bed every night. I have, a phone yeah, I have a charger right beside my bed. Yeah. 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 Me too. I have chargers all over the place. You know. What the hell? Anyway, so uh, that was the the bit the the ridiculous story today is. Donald Trump in the Supreme Court. You know, today they were supposed to take up, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, affirmative action. Affirmative action. Well, they have but, been taking it well, up. Well, did they get around to that or did they yes. have to hear they Trump? They had oral arguments. Oh, they did do them today. Okay. Because I wondered where Trump fell into this. Do they, does he suddenly is he second up or something like that? Or, you know. Anyway, and then there he's on trial here in New York. That started. <laughs> Yeah, uh, his company is. He's not, you know. Uh, so, whatever. Hey, it's also our election here in New York for governor. Did you go vote yet, Rick? I vote on election day. Why is that? Because I'm not driving 20 minutes to go vote. I will oh, because you're well, because you're you're is right across the street at the school. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Well, that makes sense. We still have to go to the school near us, which we should have done today. We'll go tomorrow. We'll go tomorrow. And and it's I normally one block I, away, Alex. You yeah, can handle nor, it. Normally, I wouldn't want to vote in this election because I refuse to vote for the lesser of two evils. You know. Yeah, but do you want the evil well, quote, <laughs> to win? Well, well, there are two evils, but okay. But question, you want evil number one. What you have to do is vote for is is think who is the lesser of two evils, mm -hmm. uh, and it would probably be, it would probably be our our present governor, the city sealer, the city stealer. What what, what <laughs> stealer? Explain that. It's a reference from the front page. Billy Gilbert and his girl Friday plays the city stealer. It's Slim Somerville, I think, in the front page. Well, well, I have no idea what a city sealer is. but Oh, okay. But you just thought you'd mention it because it was from some movie. Because that's a bullshit job. Oh, that's okay. Had. Yeah, well, anyway, our governor is... Uh, she's, well, McCormick she's McCormick went, who can I get that <laughs> nobody wants? I'll get that woman and then... Uh-oh. <laughs> No, she was lieutenant governor already. Yeah. So she, she just automatically moved up to that position. Yeah. Yeah, but he made her a lieutenant governor because he thought nobody, would, she would never get the job of governor. That, yeah. Yeah. Are you all, can you all... never win a real election. Let's just say Andrew Cuomo didn't run this election. She would not be the candidate of the Democrats, I don't believe. Okay. All right. Who misses Cuomo? <laughs> Mrs. Cuomo. Who misses? Who misses, who, who misses <laughs> Cuomo? I thought you were referring to her as Mrs. Cuomo. Uh, <clears throat> who misses Cuomo? I do. I do. And, then, and then you got the brother who's demanding a better time slot on a network. I have no idea what channel it's even on <laughs> because his ratings are horrible. 
Well, the, the ratings for that is it's it's a thing called News Nation. Really, what it is, you remember the uh, superstation WGN? Mm -hmm. oh. well, WGN is News Nation now. Oh, okay. And uh, they they hired Cuomo, paying a million dollars a year, something like that, because they, you know, but if they don't want to put him in a spot where he's going to get an audience, so be it, you know. Well, maybe nobody wants to watch him. Maybe nobody right. wants to watch another news network. Right. God knows. Well, he's on apparently at eight o'clock and is demanding to be on at nine o'clock because he thinks he'll get better ratings at nine o'clock. Why? <laughs> Well, you know what's ruined television and 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 radio, podcasting, and this <laughs> this is the new podcasting. Gee, we're going to get our we're going to start a new news network. This time, it's going to be better than the other news networks because we're going to not have an opinion. So, how's that better? You know, just I don't know. <clears throat> I, Can I interrupt I, here? Yes. Edward Berger, what? Tell me about what the costume you're wearing. What's that face? That's that, that's a very bad yeah, Joe Biden mask. Well, it's easy to make a Trump mask. You can do that. Yeah. You just make this cartoon of Trump. But Biden is a little more difficult because he's just dull. <laughs> you know. So that may be the most boring mask I've ever seen. We should have all worn a mask. Put a pumpkin and, on your head. And don't wear it out for Halloween or kids are going to start falling asleep. Uh. <laughs> I don't know why they send, you know, we don't get political on the show, but it's getting to that time of the year. I don't know why they send Biden out for any of these <laughs> rallies. I mean, he's not exactly the kind of guy who engenders excitement. <laughs> you know well, now yes. obama goes out have you heard some of the speeches he's oh yeah out. he's terrific over yeah. the weekend he had some really good speeches he's yeah. up in wisconsin that was great and it looks you know when i watch him it looks like he's really enjoying it because he's he's missed it he hasn't done this in a long time and he's good at it i just watched him handle a heckler and it was it was a, a master class what did he say what happened it was uh, uh, um, uh, pretty much he, he, he kind of folded into what he was talking about, which is that, that uh, what we're missing is a dialogue because people are shouting at each other. And, uh, you know, he just was just um, just masterful. He didn't get upset. He didn't raise his voice. He just he just uh, he handled it like, you know, like uh, like a like a stand up can uh, uh, can handle a heckler. He was just right on the money. Yeah. Well, also, I mean, he. You know, if you compare him to Trump, when Trump used to have a heckler, he took it personally. Yeah. Whereas Obama just doesn't give a shit. Well, uh, Trump Obama just goes. Uh, Obama just goes. Hey, I was the president of the United States. I'm now a multimillionaire. Leave me alone. You know. Now, well, well, Trump doesn't know how to take anything except personally. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Um, yeah, probably the whole reason he ran for president was because Obama heckled him at the at the. Well, that was that, that was the reason he wasn't yeah. heckled. That was the nature of the correspondence dinner, correspondence dinner where you make fun of people. Yeah, yeah. Right. and so he made fun of of a guy who'd been going around saying that he wasn't born in this country. You know, <laughs> so uh, I, you know he's 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 fodder for for that kind of thing. Yeah. yeah, well, I, rem I remember Trump's face. He was uh, uh, furious, enraged. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. And we have two people running for office right now who may be seriously brain damaged, one of which is, uh, uh, what, what's his name, Fetterman, you know, had a yeah. stroke. And the other one, of course, is uh, uh, Walker <laughs> down in Georgia, who is <clears throat> brain dead as well. They're not in the same category. Forget no. it. No, they're not in the same category. Nothing wrong with his brain. Killing. Hey, listen, brain damage is it, it, trumps. It, it, I hate to use the word trumps. It, uh, brain damage outpaces, in my opinion, mammoth Oz. You know, <laughs> I mean, uh, he has He's no excuse. Healing, Alex. What? He's healing. I know. 
But listen, yeah. we got a guy here who knows all about that. You know, Jeff had a stroke years ago, and he knows what the, all the various uh, problems are. You say to this day, you can't read, right? That's right. Yeah. But he can put together a coherent sentence. Which yeah. You know, he's very can. good. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, I couldn't read one, though, a full sentence. I mean, without word by word, that's his. That's as good as I've got. That's it, 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 really weird because it's weird what a stroke takes away. Oh, yeah. You know, no. somebody said no two strokes are alike. That's true. You know, I often wished that I had a uh, stroke and that I could erase the memory of my prom. You know? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I never had the stroke. I may have had. I may have had strokes. I may have had many strokes. I don't know. I think many, you have, Alex. What? I think you have. What do you mean? Why? How do don't, I? Don't, have? Marjorie, don't tell him that. <laughs> how do you think? Do you really think I've had a mini stroke? Here we go. <laughs> she gave Marjorie, you time. brought it up. Yeah. I didn't mean it. I take it back. <laughs> All I could life. wish for you is that, the week. is that I have a major stroke and I'm a total vegetable and you have to come take care of me <laughs> and, and wipe the poop out of my ass oh. and things like that. That's my wow. that's my wish for you. You know what Alex says to me every day? Do I look like I'm dying? Yeah. <laughs> Do I look oh, like yes. I'm sick? Everybody I'm says sick. I look healthy. So I assume I am. Plus, they did they they X-rayed a CT scan every inch of my body. You so know. then why do you keep asking? Because I don't know. I've been feeling. I'm you know. Hey, He's making conversation. I, I'm <laughs> only, boring conversation, but you know. <laughs> all my life, as long as I can remember, and Shecky will agree with this. I'm sure. I have been a hypochondriac. Mm. As long as I know you, that's for sure. It was one of my main uh, skills. Skills. <laughs> yes, right. That was the word I was looking for. It was one of my main skills. I was always a good hypochondriac. Still are. Were your, were your parents like that? No. 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 Uh, but I can't figure out where it comes from, though. Hmm. You know? I mean, but uh, as long even when I was a kid, I was worried about my health. Huh. You know. Yeah, uh, and you're only 82 years old or 81. Yeah. Yeah. It's still there. 82. I'll still be 83 worried. in December. Right. I'll Too be much. 84 the following December. <laughs> I'll be 85 the following. Must we? With any luck, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I don't know if living long is good luck because you know it's if if this part of my life is not going to be any fun because my back aches today, my tooth hurts today, this hurts, that hurts, that bothers me. I don't know if if that's a good thing. Well, it makes you a more creative hypochondriac. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. It's now we, uh, of course, we've had, you know what it, it, it takes. If you're in show business, you either die young or you live a long life. I mean, what was, who do we lose a couple of months, a weeks, a year, maybe a, within the last year, Olivia de Havilland? Mm -hmm. Well, Marsha yeah, Hunt, like Olivia de Havilland. Now, how old was Marsha Hunt? Marsha Hunt was 104. And uh, de Havilland was 103 or 104. Yeah, yeah. And we lost uh, uh, what's his name, the uh, the guy that fell off of the Statue of Liberty. Norman Lloyd was one hundred and six. How much? Yeah. One hundred and six. One hundred and six. Wow. And wow. didn't have any after insurance, by the way. You know. <laughs> but uh, the, these people, uh, you know, these people live long. Comedians sometimes live long. Uh, or and they the, sometimes they park your carcass, you know, dropping dead at a, you know. Right. Does anybody know who Parkia Carcass was? Yes. Oh, I Edward. heard the name, but I Edward. Can't we can't hear you. Take that mask off. <laughs> why are all my why is yeah, all the audio terrible? The audio is low here today. What yeah, let, me say. let me see. Edward, what did you say? No. What? Uh, 
Now I can't hear you at all. Okay, I've turned the imp- level of the input. There we go. Oh, there you go. There's yeah, I, I thought the sound was a little low today. Yes, Edward, what were you going to say? Who is Park your carcass? Bob Einstein's father. He's Bob Einstein's father. Right. And, and Bob Einstein's brother is who? Albert Brooks. Albert Brooks. And we can't even hear you. What is oh, this? Wow. He's probably got the headphones set for his mic. Uh, wait a minute. Here he goes. He'll fig- he'll figure that. What is what are all the wires? <laughs> what is this? I feel, I feel like I'm spending the day at Radio Shack. What is this? <laughs> yeah, there I am. Oh, oh, there you are. Oh, 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 bro. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now you sound much better. Good. Uh, oh, wait a minute, Edward's phone. Edward. Yeah, that, that just. Yeah, I just uh, Edward's phone. It says Edward's phone. Who's uh-huh. who's Edward? I don't know. Edward's phone. Well, maybe he got his, when he plugged that in. He got got his wires crossed. Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, it could be. Yeah, it could be. Who's Mister Phone? <laughs> this is Edward's iPhone. I'm not using an iPhone. Yeah, well, that's weird. Anyway, technologically, the show is lots of fun, isn't it? Well, that's what happens yeah. when you upgrade, Alex. But I didn't. Up, I you know what I did? I went to uh, I went to the newest Apple OS operating system, and I did it first in my it, uh, Mac in the uh, in the guest room. And it usually sometimes you upgrade to these things and they screw up. They got problems. But it didn't. So I then went and did it on the one that I use as a server here to serve all the programs out 24-7. But then, then I uh, I went to uh, I went to uh, uh, what, what was I talking about? I forgot now. We have uh, no idea. You upgraded your computer? Software. Uh, the, uh, yes, I upgraded. Oh, yeah, I upgraded oh, the software. And uh, it 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 worked fine, so I put it in on my main machine, and now it won't download certain things. It's real, you know. And so I've been spending the whole day trying to figure that problem. What the hell is that down there? That's a Santa Claus. <laughs> That's Santa Claus. I don't know, but Albert has a tendency, a tendency to really grow beards fast. I mean, I I haven't been doing much to mine, and look what I got. But down there, you look like who does he look like now? I look like the Baba Duke, the famous uh, scary villain, the Baba Duke. The Baba Duke. Okay, That's what I'm going for is Halloween. And the hair. You've let the hair grow. Yeah. Yes. Well, why not? You might as well do the whole thing. Right? You've really given up on life, haven't you, Albert? <laughs> no, no. On the contrary, I'm exploring life. I'm living life to the fullest. I shave it when I want to, and I let it go when I want to. You are in there on fullest. Then huh? you yeah. do a little trimming and stuff like that. Yeah, sure. I trim. Of course, I trim. Yeah. Uh, Hello, everybody. I, I, you know, I am. A, I, I don't have my thing on on stun. I don't really have anything that it cuts yet. Uh, and uh, my, I, 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 I've been growing mine longer than you've been yeah. growing yours. I mean, you keep cutting it. How many months has it taken you to get it to look like that? I think I stopped uh, cutting my hair and shaving in about February or March. Oh, really? But I trim it. If I hadn't trimmed it, it'd probably be down to here. Really? Probably. Well, I should have Shecky introduce you to David Letterman, two of you. (laughs) You know, given the time, I'd blow him out of the water, I think. (laughs) Given the time? Yeah. I mean, if we started at the same time. I think I'd have a, a much more substantial beard than Dave would. Really? I think so. Your hair grows fast. It grows, yeah, pretty fast. I've been told. And then you, you got the stuff on the side. What? What do you mean the stuff on the side? Well, your, hair, Alex. Your hair. Oh, hair. Yeah. Well, if you have it, you might as well grow it. I guess once in a while, anyway. Well, I, I, let me see the top of your head. Just. Yeah, no, you guys see. Yeah. It's all here, buddy. It's, hair. it's all yeah. here, baby. Yeah, you're lucky. I got it all. I just shaved mine so I look tall. 
<laughs> Why not? You do what you want to do. That's all. Well, you know. Um, and he doesn't tip. <laughs> I don't tip. <clears throat> but, oh, you should cut my hair and I don't tip you. I see. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I went to a barber that that Alex then started going to. Yeah, and, I remember, and remember. shortly thereafter they closed because he doesn't. Talk. <laughs> <laughs> I went to them for years. <laughs> I, 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 for some reason, when I had a barber and I wasn't working well, or he quit, or something, I don't know. I so, don't know. You went to my lady, and was, about uh, just go see my lady down the village. Fifteen bucks or something like that. Some real like eleven or twelve. Eleven or twelve dollars. She did a great job, and then they and then they uh, they folded after you started visiting. I started visiting. They were broke. <laughs> they folded, and he never forgave me for that. Well, no, I, I didn't forgive you for other building. things. No, oh, okay. <laughs> oh boy, I'm telling you. We had some fun though, didn't we, Albert? One or two times, yeah, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, um, sorry, what were you talking about? I'm sorry to join so late. But we don't this... talk about anything here. You know, yeah. wander around. Oh, kind of ta- having a a good time with each other. I thought you'd be talking about the new uh, Revolver Beatles Revolver remix. It's phenomenal. Really? Okay. Didn't well, know about really? It. It's a four LP set or something, or four? Five. It's a five CD set. Five CD set. They remixed Revolver, but how can you Revolver, which was only one disc? Okay. Yeah. Right. How can you make that into five discs? Well, the first disc is the remix, is the the complete remix, not just remaster, remixed completely, and it sounds phenomenal because mm. they use digital technology to extract the instruments and the voices separately. And then remix it. Instead of having three voices on one channel, you have three separate voices now, and they can put them in different parts of the of the soundstage, mm. the stereo. It's phenomenal. And the second disc is, is outtakes and different takes. The third mm-hmm. disc is outtakes and different takes. Also fascinating, because you find out why they did this and how it sounds different. I don't understand just, the fourth disc is all mono, a mono uh, mix down which is useless to me. And the sixth disc is all is only the uh, paperback writer single in stereo and, and mono. But the, 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 the first disc alone, just all the, worth it. Is all the spaces of silence between the takes. They're in stereo too. <laughs> on, on a disc too. They're in stereo. All the spaces are in stereo. They've really Can done a great job. Can you just buy the first album? It. What's that? Can you just buy the first disc? I think you can, yeah. They Probably. have a they have a two disc set. But they they have a two, one disc, two disc, that, yeah. you know, wow. and then they're going to release it. I think. Buy in the whole set. Set. What's that? You buy the whole set. I have the whole set. Did you buy the whole set? I have the whole set. <laughs> 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 well, I'll have to go buy myself a whole set, right? <laughs> Yes, I could lend you mine and you could listen to it for a little while if you want. Yeah. Will you mail it up to me? Yes, I will. I will. <laughs> complete with the booklet. Uh, complete with the booklet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A hundred page booklet that goes along. Oh, they have Ooh. a page booklet that comes with it? Well, it's really uh, 50 pages because they're that small CD booklet, you know? So it's actually, kind of if you were going to take a Beatles record and do this kind of treatment to it, Revolver's a good one to do. It is... You know, Abbey Road was my favorite Beatle album, but after listening to this, this mm. they could they could have released this after Abbey Road, and it would have sounded just as contemporary and just as uh, pristine as Abbey Road. I mean, it, it is that good a remix. This this guy George Martin's son Giles Martin, he's a genius. Really, it's well, they can also do things technically now, like you say, separating the voices and, right. so, and so forth that you never could do before. It was like what. Uh, uh, what's his name? Jackson did with. Well, in the- fact, I was going to say, don't. I shouldn't give the credit to Giles Martin. I should give it to Peter Jackson because Peter Jackson and his guys created this technology, which he used for the Get Back film to to separate uh, um, dialogue from from the movie soundtrack, and they used the same technology to do this, and it's just phenomenal. It's it's just a, a great technology. Well, it was I a- guarantee you they'll be doing this with a lot of albums in the future. With Get Back. 
because all that stuff was shot was that shot 16 millimeter i think it was yeah yeah and they upgraded it and it looks like you know it's phenomenal it's the whole peter jackson thing is, is great yeah yeah but so uh, okay, well, i'll have to go out and buy yes you should get it five discs yeah you should get it you should definitely get it mm -hmm. um i'll have to check it right after the show here yeah well, I, I know I know it's on Abbey Road, but uh, what, what's on Revolver? I'm not familiar with it. Revolver. Oh, Revolver. I got I to gotta go. My grandkids just got here in their costumes. Oh, okay. oh happy Halloween. <laughs> you want to see? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Show, show, help me. See him yet. Can't see him yet. Oh, that's wow. Harper. That's oh. Harper. Uh, and oh, that's Addie. Grand. Oh, wow. and that's joey my son <laughs> though you have adorable grandchildren <laughs> thank you thank you well i'll talk to you guys next week okay love you Bye, all joey. love you all okay anyway um um uh, yeah tonight's halloween isn't it Did we, we didn't get candy no Do you have any around the house yeah it's some from last year you have to <laughs> <laughs> sure, it's still good. Give them yeah. those gummies you like so much. Yeah, I'll give them, <laughs> we'll give them laxative gummies. Uh, <laughs> you so know, what's, what's on Revolver? Well, Revolver was... Uh, tax Man. It starts off with Tax Man. Yeah. She Said, She Said is on there. Um, Tomorrow Never Knows closes the album out. And that, that, that just is day and night from what it used to be. I mean, it, it, it's su such a psychedelic, uh, just a great groove, the whole thing. Uh, what else? Uh, was it Manson's favorite song on that album? Manson was not a was not a Beatle fan. He was a Bing Crosby fan. He said that himself. So Bing you know, Crosby is wow. on that album. Huh? Helter Skelter's on that album, isn't it? No, Ooh. no, no. Helter Skelter. On the White Album. On the White Album. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Oh, no, it's a great album. It's really was when it came out. I thought the Beatles had finally hit their their peak, and yeah. the next thing after that was Sgt. Pepper, and they exceeded it. I listened mm -hmm. to Sgt. Pepper after I listened to this new remix several times, and I, I'm going to say it again. I really don't think Sgt. Pepper is that big a deal. I mean, it, it was groundbreaking at the time, but I think for its time. Uh, Revolver was more groundbreaking no, than Sgt. Pepper. Pepper. Was it was a theme album? In other words, it had a, a consistent theme, and every song that followed every song, every song. Yeah, Sgt. Pepper. Yeah, uh, which you know, the first one was to do who who I remember ever did a theme album, Frank Sinatra. All those early Sinatra things on Capitol all had a certain theme to them. We small hours of the morning, come fly with me. And it was all about different countries and places to mm -hmm. go. Only the lonely. Yeah. So, you know, when the Beatles did this, uh, I thought that Sgt. Pepper was very good of the sort. However, you're right. I think Revolver is maybe a better album of the two. Uh, if, if you compare Revolver to the album before it, which was... Um... Rubber Soul. Right. Which is, by the way, a another great album. album in and of itself. Yes. Yes. Another great album. And but, by the uh, way, influenced the Beach Boys. No. Yeah. It influenced. Yes. Influence of Beach Boys, which then, who then put out, um, what is it? Smile? Not the Smile album. Um, uh, no, that never, that didn't come out for years. It was. Oh, it's uh, out now, but yeah. yeah, yeah. What's, the, what's the Big Beach Boys album? Uh, um, it, it sounds. Pet, Pet Sounds, right, Pet Sounds. And that influenced the Beatles to do Sergeant um, Pepper. Pepper. Yeah. So it's crazy. Yeah. But, but, but Revolver, if you just listen to it, just listen to the differences in the styles and the, and the songs and the recording techniques. It's just phenomenal. It's you know, absolutely phenomenal. You know, the question is, is, is it just blind luck that it turned out that way, though? No, I don't think so, because they actually said, we're going to turn around and do the best album we can ever do. No, nobody well, they, they didn't say that. They said, we, we're going to do something in the studio that's going to use the studio as an instrument and not do something that we must do live. And that was a, a dynamic change. That was a change in the paradigm of recording. And that's that's why it's such a good album, because they said, we don't care. We, they said to the engineers, we don't care if we can do something different, if we can make it a little different and make it sound good still, let's do that. 
In, in other words, it was a studio album. It wasn't meant to be done live or to go on tour and play it. You know, we'll stop touring after that. Yeah. So, well, then, then they did the Let It Be thing. Right. And they decided at that point they wanted to go back to like the old days when they played live. They wanted to have songs that they could play live again. Right. Yes, that's what it was. But they didn't necessarily want to go out on tour again. I don't think. Well, I don't know. Who, who they didn't have to. They can make no, it. They didn't have to, but they did want to. They did want to uh, prove to, the, I guess, themselves mainly, may, probably not their audience, with "Let It Be" that that they they can put something together very quickly. They can do it very well, and they can do it live very well. And in the span of that two weeks or so, they did all of that. How do you how do you do that? That's crazy. Yeah, but uh, but it, it was also a desire to get back to the way their lives were when they were in in, yes. you know. Yeah. It was, uh, you know, we're just a small little band. Now let's do, do some music for people. Mm -hmm. but, well, I say, if you get the chance, listen to the new revolver, because it is, it really is a, a, a different sounding album for in a great way. You know, I, 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 the other day I was thinking about it, like what to me is the best song that I've ever heard. I wouldn't even touch that question yesterday. No, no. Uh, the Beatles. Um, Are you talking just the Beatles, Alex? No, I'm not talking the Beatles. Oh no, no. I'm to, I'm, I'm because uh, what's what's the song? Um, to me, Leon Russell's "This Song's for You" is maybe the greatest song ever written. I think it's just incredible. You know. I'm, I'm not even going to step into this conversation. So, you know, <laughs> you know uh, I thought he was phenomenal, Leon Russell. And I don't know that a lot of people are going back and listening to his stuff these days. And I was on, I was on YouTube and there are actually a couple of concerts with Leon Russell and JJ Kale, who's another vastly underrated talent, you know, uh, and if you go back and listen to J.J. Kale, I mean, his stuff's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. So there's a lot of great work. But, you know, if it comes to the Beatles, I think that the best Beatles song ever written was In My Life by John Lennon. I just I just think it's, it's I could listen to that song over and over and over again, never get tired of it. So. That's me. I'm not going to join that conversation. Yeah, I'm, I'm Mr. You know me, I'm Mr. Music. Now let's go to Mr. Music, Rick Sheckman. Rick? Um, <laughs> if you're smart, you I'm don't get involved in this. She's leaving home. Hmm? Huh. I'm very fond of she's leaving home. Yeah, for a guy who never leaves his home. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, I, I went out Friday, went to Steve Winers for brunch. Oh, Friday. did you really? Oh. You okay. came into the city? Yeah. Yeah. No. Because I haven't been out in a week now. You know, I just, I, there's nothing out there. And, and it, before it was too warm and all of a sudden it's too cold. So, you know, I mean, I, I, I have everything to gripe about. But then again, I don't gripe about much, right, Albert? <laughs> He's staying on mute. I've never, I've never heard you gripe at all. I don't, I don't understand what you're doing. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, yeah. Curmudgeon before my time. Let's see here. What else? What else was in the news? There was something else that I wanted to talk about, and I can't remember what it was. Let's see. Well, there is Maya Rudolph who has a movie opening and she hates Dave Letterman, except she did the show at least five more times. What did she do? She just said she hated doing David Letterman's show or she was a movie. He mispronounced her name and then he apologized profusely for mispronouncing her name. Well, what's wrong? But about she was that? traumatized by it. Uh, what did, what did, how, did, how could you, what do you call her, Maya? I have no idea. That would about be about the worst he could do. He called her Sam Worthington, so she was <laughs> really fucking mad. No, Cal Worthington. <laughs> Cal Worthington. And his dog Spot. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. I might have something here that would be uh, 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 apropos of that, but it's not coming up. Here we go. 
Uh, oh well, hold on a second. I, I, I can't. I, I. Okay, that's how we do it. Okay, I got to find this here. Where is? It? Where is it? Where is it? Here we go. Are you ready, everybody? Here's Cal Worthington and his dog. <laughs> You know, everybody in town is advertising new 88 model cars and trucks. We're selling 89s, brand new 89s at the very same prices. Look at this. A brand new 89 Ford Festiva, $54.95, $95 a month. A brand new 89 Ford Mustang, $89.95, $149 a month. And look at this, an 89 Ford Probe, the all-new Ford Probe. You've got to drive this car, $94.95, 163 a month, and 89 Ford Taurus, 10995 189 a month, and 89 Ford Aerostar, 9995 173 a month, and 89 Ford and F-150 pickup, 9995 173 a month. The 89 Ford cars and trucks are on sale at the same prices. Hey, Kevin, it's Worthington Ford in Long Beach. Worthington Ford in Long Beach. Oh, the big man. What? And you are torturing us. Why? <laughs> well, I was thinking to me how many cars he could mention in a one-minute commercial. <laughs> Those prices are unbelievable. It's Cal Worthy. Five dollars a month. God. <laughs> <laughs> now, was wasn't, he, wasn't he in Sacramento? Was or was he? he was, I think he was in Sacramento, but I think he was in the Los Angeles area too. I don't know. He's all over yeah. California. Mm. Uh, who mentioned Cal Worthington here? I said Sam Worthington because my yeah. Rudolph is mispronounced. <laughs> no, and then I said Cal. You said yeah, Cal Worthington. And I just happened to have that spot sitting here. That's okay. funny. And he used to come on with animals. Yep. He up with an elephant in his commercial or a tiger or something. That was his dog spot. And his dog spot. <laughs> yeah. And wasn't that a leopard or something? I don't know. But I. <laughs> live in ohio and i still see commercials like that <laughs> you know I'm, I'm, I'm gonna call him and still see that see if he still has that poor probe on the lot <laughs> <laughs> no but the thing is for 6.95 how, like how do you do a commercial like that because today if you go to these dealers the lots are empty <clears throat> you know if you go into a lot now and you say, oh i want to buy the new ford or something they'll say well we can get it to you by uh, january yeah yeah it's not like the old days where you walked in and they tried to have you drive out with the car. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. If you went through the front window with it, just as long as you paid for it. <laughs> what can I do to get you, you have to pay today? much? Yeah, yeah, what can I get you? What can I do to get you into this car today? Well, first of all, you could have one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like all cars, but especially if you want an electric car now, forget it. You know. Yeah, and then you can't plug it in. But if you get one, if you get a new Tesla, you get a you get a free subscription to Twitter now, which is pretty good. <laughs> have, you, have you heard about all of that's going on uh, down there at the uh, at Twitter? Yeah, yeah, he's going to lay off twenty five percent of their workforce. Yeah. Well, what's happening? Maybe maybe it's over. There's too much of a workforce there for what's going out. You know, you don't know. I mean, what do you want? He's thinking about giving Trump his uh, account back. No, he's not thinking about giving him his Trump, uh, Trump his account back. He's starting a committee. It's a bipartisan committee, of different political climbs and so on and so forth. And they're going to decide if Trump can come back on or if even Kanye West can come back on. Oh, witch hunt. Huh? It's a witch it's, hunt. It's a witch hunt. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mike Chisholm just joined us. Hi, Mike. Connecting audio. He's connecting audio. There he is. Yeah. Hi. Hey, huh? I missed you guys. It's nice to see you. I'm sorry I'm so late today. Why were you late today? Do you have any? Uh, I've got had appointments like crazy. Our trip to New York was great, but uh, I, I've just been really, really, really busy since we got back. So I missed last week. It's so yeah. nice to see you all. Uh, so nice to see who? Everybody. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Good, uh, you didn't get mugged. <laughs> you may notice, uh, uh, Mike, uh, on the show today, Walt Whitman is with us. <laughs> <laughs> How many people in the audience do you think, Albert, got that joke? 
I got it. I got it. I didn't I even know. Know. A smart group who knows who Walt Whitman was. Right. <laughs> you know, you ask an average person, they go, did he invent the Whitman sampler? <laughs> <laughs> He's the guy that they named the mall after in Long Island. Right. <laughs> Is there a mall out there called Walt Whitman? Yeah. Mall? Yes. Yeah. The Walt Whitman Mall. Yeah. <clears throat> what a terrible thing to do to Walt Whitman is named the mall after him. Yeah. Wasn't there a bridge too, a Walt Whitman bridge? In Philly. Is that where it is? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I left the long part. From Philly to Jersey, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there should be a library that he has named after. What'd you say, Paula? It's the Ben Franklin and the Walt Whitman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Walt Whitman. It's been a while. That, <laughs> that's true. How's everything down in Florida, Albert? Crazy as always, you know. You know what? Your your governor, your lovely governor, DeSantis, wow. uh, was up here in New York, stumping for the Republican candidate for governor. Yeah. And I'm surprised people in the audience didn't boo him <laughs> because he's been sending up all those immigrants up here. Yeah. <laughs> but they were in Massachusetts. Well, uh, oh. but he's also in New York. Oh, didn't know that. I think the ones in New York are coming from Texas, right? Texas, yeah. Yeah, yeah. One thing New York doesn't need is immigrants. (laughs) Ask my parents. They were immigrants. Well, people come, yeah, people come here, you know, they're trying to send immigrants up here, and this is the home of immigrants. Everybody in this town, if they go back in their lineage, or goes back to to immigrants. Yeah. Including all of us. Right. Yeah. Yeah. My father was an immigrant. My kind mother of, was the daughter of. of immigrants. What? I said, kind of my relatives came as immigrants. <laughs> <laughs> Although forced to do so. <laughs> um, but uh, you got an instant job with it. If I were, Jesus. <laughs> can anybody name? Another person, and I'm 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 listing people like oh I don't know uh, who was the guy and played the president of the United States, and he got off because he tried to sleep with some guy or something. Uh, but anyway, can you think of anybody outside of Kanye West <sighs> who has ruined his career as fast as Kanye West? Mike, the pillow guy. No, I, was, I mentioned him yesterday to Marjorie. I said even the Mike the Pillow guy, or I was talking to Shaky, maybe Mike the the Pillow guy didn't ditch his business that fast. Yeah, that was pretty fast. I mean, Kanye went from being a double billionaire down to uh, a guy who can barely pay for his rent on his apartment. You know, I mean, it, it's horrible. Wait, is that is that true? Is this a true thing? Because I, I haven't followed Kanye. Oh, yeah. No, I mean. He's a billionaire. Let's put it that way. Some, the new said billion I mean, to 400 million overnight. A billion to 100 million? Six billion to 400 million overnight. Really? That's really sad. Huh? That one. <laughs> that should be my problem. With over a billion dollars. Wow. Yeah. The Balenciaga got rid of him. Adidas got rid of him. His agent got rid of him. His uh, uh, and this was all in a matter of a week. Gap, yeah. the gap. The, the, well, the, the gap, yeah. Uh, TJ Maxx. What did he do? He. I'm sorry, I'm ignorant on this. Anti-Semitic. Didn't heard about his anti-Semitic uh, statements he's been oh, making. I didn't hear about it. No, I, I don't. Oh, man. I don't tune into the news because it's all bad. Yeah. I well, not surprised. Yeah, sound bites are bad. Listening to it in long form is not as bad, but still, it's it's the rants of somebody who's mentally ill. There's no question. You can't use that as an excuse. Yeah, cool. Are you going to use that? No, as an it's not excuse. Excuse. I'm not. I'm just saying this is kind of how it is. It's just it's it's not good. The only thing that bothered me is they dropped them from Twitter and Facebook. And my feeling is, is that they shouldn't have, but that these these advertisers and these people who hired him to be a spokesperson and so on and so forth were making a right decision because they were trying to like keep their uh, not may have people associate their product with him. Okay, so yeah, he gave choice from a PR standpoint. PR standpoint, I understand that completely. You know, but I mean, his agent. Get him on this show next week. 
Huh? <laughs> Come on this show next week. That'll be good for your PR. Yeah. Well, yeah, I don't care if he comes on this show. Let him rant. Let rant him go away. crazy. Call me Jew boy. You know, come on. This exactly. Show. Yeah. <laughs> work on that. Get, get Kanye on here. Kanye. Send him an invite. He can use the K word. I would love a Kanye. Alex Bennett's yeah, sidekick. Kanye West. That would be great. I would love that. Yeah. So would I. I'd do it in a second. <laughs> Okay. And then go ahead, ban me. You know, the Jew had Kanye West on the air, you know. <laughs> so, uh, would I have wanted to interview Hitler? That's what I always wondered. Yeah, I, I, I would have wanted to interview Hitler. Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? Oh, yeah. You know, uh, your perspective uh, of the questions that you would ask would be fascinating. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Um, like, uh, uh, why do you hate Jews? Because we probably are in agreement. No, anyway, um, well, that's I it on that note, which will probably come back to haunt me for the rest of my life, which ain't going to be that long anyway. So when I, when I, when I, sh when I shave and, and cut my beard and all, I'll leave the little mustache and you can, <laughs> you can rehearse. You can rehearse with me. I should <laughs> play the role. I shaved it all off once, and I did leave that part there for like a day, so everybody would go, "What the fuck are you doing?" I, I did as well. I have a picture of it. Yeah. <laughs> if I go uh, and and by the way, it's over there. <laughs> hey, what time, what time you want to have breakfast with me? What time do I want to have breakfast with you? Yeah. Nine. Oh. Nine. 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 <laughs> Forget it. Forget it. I'm not interviewing Hitler. Yeah. Okay. Not as big, but Roseanne, she fell from grace pretty quickly. Yeah, but not like not as bad. Oh, as, yeah, you're right. Right. Not as fast. I mean, you got to realize what Kanye lost. Yeah. No, yeah. no, no. I don't know if anybody's ever she lost was a damn TV show, you know, and the rest of yeah. her career. He lost four billion dollars. Over so, did Don, so did Donald Trump over two years. Mm. <laughs> yeah. that but not belonged to him ever. <laughs> was, yeah. yeah. Was just, he was just renting the money. Yeah. We're running way over time here. And uh, I could go on talking to you guys forever and women as well. But uh, we have to be on our way, you know. Uh, thanks to Charlie, who's always a pleasure to have here. Len LaFrisco, who's great to have lunch with. <laughs> Uh, 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 I'll get to you, Edward, in a second. I'll get to you. Rick Jackman, thank you. Vernon Nunn, always a pleasure. Marjorie Miller, it's wonderful sleeping next to you. She snores. <laughs> snores. Never woke me up. Woke me yeah. up. Uh, Paul Levin, always nice to see you here, Paula. Jeff Stein, uh, uh, and, uh, Mike Chisholm, and of course, Albert Reynoso. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, who really that's a that's a great beard though. Yeah. A great beard. Yeah, it really is. It, it, wouldn't you would you agree it's a better beard than uh, David Letterman's? Yes, come on. Hello. Yeah. Oh, He's got that Trotsky thing yeah, going. Yeah, yeah, I'll be through in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be in a minute. All right. And, and, and you and I should just do an interview, Albert. I'll give you a call. We'll do something. <laughs> And We've done that for months. Come on. I'm going to close off the program with his famous closing, which is that's all, folks. <laughs> Everybody wave goodbye. Bye. Thanks, uh...